Oh. Space City Home oh. Network and Academy oh. Sports oh. and Outdoors are proud oh. to celebrate oh. Black History Month. Oh. All February, we are celebrating Black History Month with a look at Black-owned businesses across Houston. Today, we're celebrating the Bison Art Gallery. Opened in 2012, the gallery showcases Black artists and focuses on African-American stories and culture, both past and present. When I first started the gallery, going to other art galleries, I didn't see a lot of African-American and Black artwork uh, being shown. A few, but not a lot. So with black artists being represented, that was important to me. But most importantly, the art they create when it tells a story. I truly appreciate um, what art does is represents what's going on in current affairs and what we're dealing with in today's society. So many of the art that we show here is uh, a representation of black people, a representation of all ethnicities and backgrounds. And so what I feel is a good story and the artists are doing a great job creating, that's what I wanna showcase. This building that we're in is from 1909. And so when I saw the gallery and I turned it into a gallery space, I knew it just was a great energy and I wanted to bring the arts here and have a place for art admirers and artists to come together and appreciate art. In the next exhibition we're having on March 22nd, we really want artists and art admirers to have a dialogue on what the artists are creating and what the art admirers like. So I truly enjoy storytelling. I truly enjoy people coming in asking questions. Some of our guests have never been to a gallery before, so I enjoy taking them through the process of how the artists are creating the work, where the artists are from. One of the artists uh, that I represent, Zara Ali, she's originally from Pakistan, and she came to Texas and studied art, went to art school in San Marcos. And so when she grew up in Pakistan, there were uh, truck art, and so many of the buses the bus drivers own the bus and there's a lot of different artists or the driver would have art on the bus. So she grew up seeing artwork surrounded. It was part of the culture, part of the people. And so when she came here, she really had a passion for wanting to tell stories and show off her artwork. Corey Haynes uh, went to Prairie View a and University and studied graphic design, but is talented in welding, painting, a little bit of everything, sculpture work. And so him as well, now being an artist and an art teacher, expresses himself through his art. So many of the artists I work with are professional individuals, some only uh, creating art, some also having other careers, but continue to create art at the same time. And I love that you can be an artist and it can be a viable uh, career path. 